Welcome to ULA, Ultimate Lifestyle Adventures. We are Bondi and Shell. Join us as we explore and find our next adventure. It could be standing on the edge of Australia, helping out on a farm. Maybe try your luck to strike it rich. Walking into the unknown, or how about paddle up the Everglades? Whatever you decide, I hope we inspire you to get out and find your own adventure. Good morning from the Mullaney Showground this morning. Last day in Mullaney. Anyway, while I was having a sleep in, lucky me, Shell decided to go for a bit of a walk. And she came across this gentleman by the name of Neil, who is the platypus whisperer here in Mullaney. And Shell got a chance to have a bit of a chat with him, and this is what they had to talk about. I just met this lovely man called Neil, Neil Anderson. And he's the platypus whisperer for the Mullaney area. By all means, give this gentleman a call. Yeah, and if they scan the QR code, that'll yeah. take you straight to my Facebook page and about 5,000 photos. Oh my goodness. Oh, and now you're down here enjoying every day, educating people on yeah. our natural wonders. Yeah, and the importance of keeping it that way. Yeah. But not only that, when I'm not doing tours, I'm down here, as today, photographing every morning. Okay. Virtually every morning. Last Around year, this time? Any time from now, right through the day. Okay. Oh, I thought, <laughs> see I got educated by this man already, that platypus are only AM and PM animals, but I was wrong. They are 24 hours a day. They can be, most certainly. And it's actually mating season at the moment. So where we are right here, right now, there is approximately five well, I find the transit through, there yeah. can be even more. Alrighty. We've got one of the, the best populations in southeast Queensland. At Mulaney? In this creek. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And that's a testament to how clean and healthy the ecosystem is. Yeah. So that's, that's where we, us the people, need to do our job and keep these waterways clear. So if you go for a walk, pick up the rubbish, take it home and put it in the bin. Because we need to keep the waterways clear and the land clear so that we look after our animals. Not only that, if we all take a bit, we do a quarterly clean up, basically a clean up Australia Day four days, a, four times a year, mm -hmm. and we've reduced the amount of litter by about 95%, mm -hmm. and heavy articles in the creek by about the same. Okay. When we started in 2019, we were taking a trailer load of rubbish to the dump after an hour and a half session in the morning, now we might get two or three bags. Okay. So that we can take care of our own waterways just by picking up that rubbish. Yeah. And we're all volunteers. We are. We're all volunteers and we all yeah. live on this one world together. So we need to look after it together. Bloody oath. Aye. I mean, these guys have been around for millennia. And by keeping the waterways clean, they'll be around for another millennia. Yeah. And like I was saying to Neil earlier, before we actually came down to the water edge, that knowledge shared is yeah. knowledge cared <laughs> and we're actually on the same wave line because he has a, a motto where he says we, if people are aware they tend to care see and then we just cracked up laughing so it was just our funny moment for the morning these waterways are critically important there's just no getting away from that it's not just the platypus it's the rakali which is the australian native water rat yep. the white-tailed water rat you've got the eastern water dragons, the turtles, the eels. Basically anything that lives on the water. Anything that lives on the water, they breathe air. Yeah. One of the biggest problems we have are called opera house yabby traps. Yes. If you can imagine, a platypus can only hold its breath for three to four minutes. So if it gets caught in one of those traps... It's going to drown. It's dead. Because people don't monitor them. And you couldn't realistically monitor them every four minutes. No. But because it'd be like a crab pot, really. You put it in the water and you just leave, leave it, it there and, and you go away. Out. So you don't think anymore, okay, I'm going to come back and I'm going to have a crab pot, no. a crab in there and get a good feed. They don't... Okay. I identify when we've got a platypus in proximity is we look at the ripples. So if you have a look at the ripples down here in front of us, they're quite short and sharp, close together. Yep. That's generally one of the, the water birds or something similar. The energy is dissipated really quickly. With the platypus, you tend to find the ripples are quite wide apart and quite low, and they'll go 
right across the creek and come back again in waves. Okay, man. I've had a couple of tours where we haven't seen any platypus, and at the end they've said, we've learnt so much mm -hmm. about them, mm -hmm. it would have been lovely to see one, but we're not going away empty-handed. Yeah. And I mean, that's... That makes me feel better. Yes. I feel bad because we didn't see one, but it makes me feel better that they... Learnt something along the way. something, and they walk away. And the knowledge that they've now picked up, they will therefore share that yeah. knowledge with somebody else. So we've just arrived at the Mulaney Chocolate Company, the heart of chocolate. Let's go in and have some fun. <gasps> there is goodies galore. So what have we got, sorry? We've got freckles, mm -hmm. milk chocolate freckle, dark yeah. chocolate uh, strawberry and pistachio, and dark chocolate mint. <gasps> yeah, but they're oh. all yummy. I'll try the mint you one, please. Try all of them. I'll try the mint. I'll have one of each, please. <laughs> Oh, good. I like mint. I'm a mint. Mm. That first one that I got was good. Well, we've just turned up at the Mulaney Chocolate Factory Outlet Factory. Mm. Come on. Oh, if you've got a mm. sweet tooth, this is not the place for you. <laughs> Right hey, we're back here in Mulaney and we're at the chocolate factory now. Yum, yum, yum. Oh yeah. Yum, yum. We just caught up with Kath, who is actually the owner, and her little fella. It's Hayden. Hayden. Yeah. Okay, so they just come out and sort of have a little quick chat with us and explain what they do and what they can do. So welcome to the factory. This is our beautiful space here in the heart of Mulaney. We um, make all of our beautiful <gasps> products here in the factory, just out the back there. You can have a look in the window. Thank you. We sell all of our stuff here. On site, we also have a wholesale um, portal that we can that we use for. It's quite busy at the moment. We've got lots of places buying our um, products, and we also sell online. Oh, so that oh, people brilliant. that come to Mulaney, try our beautiful products, go home, and we can make sure that we get it to their spots all around. So we can so actually, I'll oh, see. Okay, beautiful yeah. online. So we'll, we'll drop that link in as well. That would be amazing. Yeah, we've yeah. got that link so in yeah, for you. Yeah. Oh, this wow. is our, one of our signatures here. Is the honeycomb that comes from. Honey straight from our beehive on our property at Kulam. Okay. Um, so we use like, lots of honey parts, so obviously the honey yeah. comes from our place. And we have, this is um, another, <gasps> this one here, this is the macadamia brittle. So we don't have any peanuts on site, but we do use macadamia and pistachios. Okay. But this is a brittle that's very popular. A lot of people call oh, 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 oh. that one. You like that one, Hayne? Yeah. <laughs> We actually have a competition running at the moment to really? name a platypus. So we've got a platypus okay. um, chocolate mould, and because okay. the platypus is the honorary animal to Mulaney, you can see them down um, at the, the Obi Obi Creek here in Mulaney. Okay. Funny you say that because yes. I was talking to a gentleman this morning, Neil, who has a platypus, whispers platypus yes. something. Yes, yes. Right, so I was talking yes. to him this morning. Yes. Funny you say that. So we were down Obi Obi checking Great. out the platypus. Yeah. So because we're actually in the showgrounds. Oh, fantastic. yes, yeah, support yeah. the town. So yeah, that's what we decided. So for. we've got a naming competition oh. at the moment, so people can go online to name our platypus. You've just got a variety All of, sorts of things. goodies there everywhere. Range. So we have candy that's coated in the um, different types of Tangerine. chocolates. Yeah, okay. So we have a special machine that we put the items through, and then they get coated in chocolate. So we have free dried strawberries, the famous coffee beans, um, all sorts of different things. These are quite popular. My boys love these ones. So I saw you pointed at that. <laughs> this is a hot chocolate drinking spoon. So we have, you heat up milk, whatever type of milk that you prefer. Pick and choose. Yeah, so yeah. Heat it up, drop this in and stir it. And we use a beautiful local um, company here for our drinking chocolate. So it's got a chocolate case on the outside this beautiful product on the inside and once you dip it in and stir it through the uh, through the milk you get quite a deluxe oh, very special no wonder you like those so, and that so, marshmallow as well yeah marshmallow oh. on top so it comes in um the original chocolate an orange jaffa version and a mint chocolate oh this is all too good <laughs> haven't got the jobs going in no i'll let you out of that time but you have two, yeah. there's yeah. Oh, okay, so you can actually do your own. Yeah, have a go at it yourself. Okay, what is your favourite chocolate? Tell me that. My favourite, my brittle. The brittle? Yeah. Okay, okay. So when you're making it, 
do you make a batch for yourself? <laughs> and everybody else? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. So when are you taking over the business? <laughs> Sounds like you know all about it, hey? That's good. So you come oh, yeah. on a lot? You come up and help on the holidays. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, good brilliant. on you. It is, that's brilliant. Well, it gives you a bit of a taste, no, no pun taken, <laughs> in how the business works, hey? That's good. A range of um, truffles across the bottom here, oh. so all different types of flavours, and across oh. the top are a new range of praline. Mm -hmm. So the new favourite one here is the pina colada, oh. that's nice, and I'm a fan of the espresso. So this is where it all happens down here, this is the actual factory part. Oh, what's going on? All oh, good. And young Hayden in there working hard, good on you buddy. So that's, a, that's got freeze dried raspberries and strawberries on it, that's as well as <laughs> oh. like that. Can you give us that point? Oh, awesome. oh, that's awesome. Stay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so we've got what we want. Full of belly. Let's get out of here before it gets more. So how good's that, eh? Mulaney Chocolate Factory. We've got some goodies. All sorts of goodies here. We've got Duck Pepper Crunch. we got Dark Rocky Road. we got Honeycomb. And we got the... And that was Hayden's favourite, wasn't it? We've got Hayden's favourite, which is the chocolate spoons. Which we look forward to trying them out and doing mm -hmm. shots. So. Yum. Great job there, Kath and Hayden, and uh, well done, and we'll um, see you again soon. Cheers. Ah, my love, we're on the road again. Hey, sad face. How's Mulaney been, though? Oh, Mulaney's been amazing. Oh, my God, the people, the atmosphere, the, the vibes, everything in Mulaney. Check it out, seriously. It's been a great couple of days. Um, you can quite easily stay a little bit longer. There's dams to look at and everything like that, but we're on a bit of a schedule here. If you stay at the Mulaney Showgrounds or if you mil visit Mulaney, oh my gosh, the Obi Obi Creek, which is just down here, they have platypus. Just down behind us here, that's the Obi Obi Creek down there. They have platypus, oh my god, it was just amazing. So check out Platypus Whispers if you want more information. So Actually, I might put his link in here, actually. We'll chuck his link in, yeah. in over here somewhere for you. Uh, he's a gentleman. He does tours. What's his name? Good. Neil Anders Anderson. Neil Anderson. We'll Anderson. chuck his card. We'll chuck his card here. In this, uh, over here somewhere. Over here. <laughs> Chucked that there for you. Um, yeah, apparently does uh, plug with tour. tour guide, yeah, guide. so you take you around the local creeks and that, and um, show you. <laughs> try and hopefully find you a platypus. But anyway, we're out of here on the road. Uh, we are heading now to Woodgate Caravan and Camping. And Woodgate, that's right. So we're going to go 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 by the Kenilworth Way, the back roads. We're Is not that going. Way we're going. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah, we'll go through the Kenilworth Way. Um, I don't want to get down the highway. I want to stay off the highway. So and oh, we do. Yeah, we can go down the hill. Back down the range, but nah. Make it scenic. It's about probably four hours drive, so a big drive today, but... Oh, no, we've, we've got Aussie. Yeah, we can stop and have lunch along yeah, the way. We've got the Aussie traveller in the back, so we can heat food up yep. and stuff, so it's all Makes good. Make some lunch, so... Okay. All right. All right. See ya. Uh, Mulaney Showgrounds. See Thumbs you later. Up. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Check it out. Ah, uh, road works has got to be done sooner or later. It does. And it's upgrading the roads for all of us. Oh, yeah. So this is the famous Kenilworth. Everyone talks about the bakery and all that sort of stuff, about the one kilo donut and stuff yeah, like that. So, so there's a nice little uh, park area over there if you want to stop and have a smoke -o. There's toilet blocks. And then of course there's a Kenilworth Dairies, which we are going to very shortly. So this is a nice little park lands here. Nice little rest area, nice little seats. And there's your famous bakery up there. Oh, it's a little seat. Story seat. Oh, story seat, how good's that, eh? Something different.
Kühe. Famous Kenilworth Dairy. <laughs> oh my botcher. Just in case. Well, you and Chuck are not yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yes, I yeah, right. Yes, I know you and your bloody chocolate, your yogurts. Love me chocolate mousse. Love me chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. <gasps> All these goodies. I've got a lot more. Yeah, it looks good, eh? Oh, it's been a while since I've been at him. Look at all these jams and vinegars and. Beef jerky. Got some beef jerky? Get some beef jerky. Sweet though. Dried oranges. If you're into that sort of thing. That's sweet. If you're into the dried oranges, not me. No. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, we haven't tried it. But they've got a good variety here, eh? It's um I was gonna say it's heaps of stuff here. Uh, last time we come out, we've really got more now, I definitely got more. Somebody is getting excited. Yeah, let's just get one or two, she says. No one's special. They're always on special. They're all special. Always on special. Ice cream. I think we need a little tub of ice cream. You're looking at the green one? Yeah, we have a green one. The green one, I'll get a chocolate one. Okay, done. <gasps> oh, look at this, all the goodies. Can't take you anywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're even doing wines now. We don't drink wine, but they do wine. No. Oh my goodness. So I've been to wine as well, guys. I've got wines here as well. Oh, we've got bags, chopping boards. Oh, look at this. Tote bags, picnic blankets, bags, oh chopping gosh. boards. Well, they're really expanded, eh? Haven't they just? Smooth, rich, and got budrum. creamy. Oh, okay, all the budrum stuff as well. Chocolates. Macadamias. Oh. Cheeses. What are we have now? Salamis. All different salamis, like there's pork salami. Oh, yeah, pork. Right. I'm gonna say this wrong, but calabrese. Calab something like that. With chili. Duck salami. Duck. Quack quack. Oh my gosh. Beef. Oh, that'd be nice. Beef salami. That'd be yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh my god, they well, have so expanded. There's all your jerkies. There's your jerkies. Yeah. Nice. No. You got like a little smoke here. So you can get your milkshakes and coffees. And... Here, look. Oh, here we go. Look, there's all the goodies on there. Oh, How good's that? So you can get yourself a little cafe, a little coffee in that, and just sit back, an ice cream. Yeah, so get sit your back. bag of treats. <laughs> get All your right. bag of treats. How good is that, eh? 40 bucks. 40 bucks, you've got a shitload of bloody stuff. <laughs> and then get your drinks ah, on and the get road. Your All righty, let's get out of here. Woo -woo. Thank you, Kenilworth Dairies. Yes. Awesome. So we've just been to the dairies, Kenilworth Dairies. Bought up big, like yeah. she always does. <laughs> But I like the containers too because you keep them in your van and you put your dollars, two dollars in it for the washing machine if you need to use the water mat, which we don't. Or oh, onion, when you cut up onion, the containers are good for onion. Yeah, they're too. brilliant and they hold a little can of corn or a little can of pineapple. Yeah. They're brilliant containers. So upcycle, recycle. Um, you got the keys for me? No, So we'll just go pack all this away now and then um, get back on the road. You got a photo of that, didn't you? Before? Yes, we got a photo of that before. So we'll just get back on the road and um, yeah, head up to the Gimpy Way now and then from Gimpy we'll pull up and have a bit of a ham and salad roll. Yeah, a bit of a bit of, bit of a munch. And then um, once we've done that, we'll then on head on through to Woodgate. Give the vehicle a little bit of a rest. Have some feed. Have some feed. Make, a, make, some, make some rolls. Ham and salad rolls. We don't buy food too much, not very often. It's just too bloody expensive. Stretch our legs, give the vehicle a rest. We've been on the road about two hours, so all good. Stop, give little breaks. We've been on the road for about uh, two hours now. Uh, we've got fuel here at the Curra Caltex garage. Uh, we're going to have a bite to eat. Right? But when you do, before we get inside, we're going to have a quick run around. Just do a basic check. Just make sure it feels good. Do your hub, check your tyres. Just have a general look around, make sure things are looking good. We just pulled up in the um, the car park of the, the garage, have some lunch. Got fuel at the service yeah, station. Fuel. So we'll have our lunch now and then we'll come back on the road again. 
Do you want some lettuce, baby? Yeah, I'll have some lettuce. This is our, this is our quick snack on you the road. a little bit more lettuce than that? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit more than that. Does you see what I have to do? See what, see what I have to put up with? You more than that? No, that's heads heaps. No, you're going to get another See, why, why ask me then? But this is what happens. This is what we do. Just nice, easy um, lunch. we got the bread rolls, we got the salads. Do it. You're good with that? That looks fantastic. Okay, cool. So, there we go. There is lunch. All right, guys, we're going to call this uh, quit on this uh, episode. Um, it's been a great little episode for you, so make sure you check out the Botanical Gardens and Bird World and... The Mulaney Chocolate Factory and the Mulaney Cheese Factory and all oh, the, the views, the looks. Look yeah. up things to do in Mulaney. That's it the is easy awesome way of doing spot, it. So, so. Yeah. All right, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow to make sure that, you know, you're doing us proud and we know that you're loving what we're doing, so... You appreciate it's all what we good, do. So. All right. Happy days. Happy travels. Stay safe. ULA. All the way. All right, safe travels, everyone. See you guys. Ciao.